What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode. Coach Joe here with Heartletics.com and today we're going to be talking all about failure. Now this is something that very important that we should be talking about actually because I want to give you a different perspective on how you view your failures. Now personally for me, I'm somebody that has a bunch of failures. Small ones, right? Like, you know, not winning a board game against your your family, your your you know, kid is beating you in a game of, you know, checkers or whatever falling off the bike, right? Small failures. But then I've also had some pretty big failures out there, right? Like uh, not passing my ASVAB test three times in a row uh, to not go into the Marine Corps. Um, I've had plenty of MMA fights that I failed, right? I lost. I got knocked out actually in training, right? It was out cold for 10 minutes straight. You know, to me, like these are some failures out there. And obviously there's other failures. Like let's say if you're on the right path uh, you're trying to do good out there and help out others and it seems like you know you're being pulled back or let's just say with your health and fitness goals right like you're you're doing all the right things you have the right intentions but who knows right maybe somebody invites you out to a sports game or a bar and you just you know have a few too many drinks next thing you know you wake up and there's a dozen donuts all over the place right and you got like cheeto dust all over you and you're like oh man I just failed at reaching my health and fitness goals well guess what this video is definitely going to help you out because I want you to view failure differently. In anything in life, your focus, right, how you perceive something, your perspective on a particular thing can dramatically change, right, how you view it. Instead of viewing these failures as, oh man, regrets, I wish I would have done this and I wish I would have done this. No, 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 no. My friends, today we're going to flip the switch. Right? You're going to learn how to use those past failures to actually set you up for success, getting you to one step closer to your goals. Here's the reality. Guys keep a constant track record of their failures, but they don't actually keep a track record of all their past wins. So that's why I really want to make sure that you see things from a whole different perspective um, so that way you can view these failures as actually, once again, stepping stones to success. Think about the word itself, fail, F-A-I-L. First attempt in learning. You can always flip the switch and change your perspective on things. So mentally, right, we create these goals for ourselves and then we create this action plan, right? The game plan that's gonna get us from point A to point B. But the problem is, is that whenever we fail, right, we typically think like, oh man, the goal is right here. We just failed maybe halfway through and now we're all the way back here to square one, right? Starting fresh, starting all over again. And then mentally, we're telling ourselves, man, it took so long for us to get here and we didn't even reach our goals. And then this is typically where, you know, the bad wolf really starts barking nice and loud, where we kind of get stuck in our old ways. And that's why you see a lot of guys out there that never actually progress, whether it's their health and fitness goals, whether it's starting a you know business, right? I hear the same stuff from guys over and over again, and that can become very discouraging. Very, very discouraging because think about it. It's like playing a video game and there's a hundred levels and let's say you're on like level 92, right? And then all of a sudden the game crashes and you're back to square one all over again. You're going to be thinking to yourself like, why am I doing this all over again? What's the point, right? So I understand completely, but I want to make sure that you have a completely different perspective shift on those goals, on those failures. That way you can make sure that you can actually see them as little stepping stones, right? That's just getting us one step closer to our goals. And they're supposed to happen because it's going to build character. It's going to teach us something. And there's always a lesson to be learned in the midst of those failures. Now, I mentioned about all these different failures that I had before in the past. But guess what? I still fail to this day, okay? Nobody's perfect. I'm definitely going to have several hundreds, thousands more failures as I progress through this journey of life. But the most recent failure that I had was actually at men's Bible study at the church that I go to. So we're going through this men's Bible study about, you know, what to do with stress, having your faith on God, uh, like during those hard times, right? Like just everybody faces these battles. Okay. Now with me being this previous MMA fighter and just somebody that has been through a lot, I like to say it like that. I see things from a different perspective of like, okay, hey, how can we, you know, put our strength, our, our, our faith back into God, right? And, and come out on top and, you know, not be a victim to some of the temptation that's out there and, you know, the stress battles that we fall into, right? Whether that's home, 
whether that's work, whether that's finances, illnesses, stuff you see on the news or social media, regardless, right? So I felt the call to pretty much make this pamphlet, right? Three pages long, going over five different Bible verses that really, they're kind of like my daily reminders when I need help, right? When I'm faced with these struggles, these battles, if you want to call it that, stress. You know, sometimes these stress battles that we go through, we put too much importance on them where they're really small, but we make them seem to be this huge, big thing, right? So I created this PDF. I got the Bible verses in there. And then I, I, I kind of wrote in there as well in terms of like, hey, how do we use these Bible verses to kind of help you through any kind of battles that you're going through with stress, anxiety, worry, doubt, fear, anything like that. And so what I did was I asked if I can present this to all the guys. Now, keep in mind, I'm the, the youngest guy there, okay? Everybody's in their, you know, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. I'm the youngest guy there. And I, I created this PDF. I put everything together, right? I passed them all out to everybody. And I've done so many speaking events. I've done so many different things, talking to people, coaching people. I mean, ask anybody, right, that truly knows me. Like, I'm the extrovert of extroverts, right? I love to go out of my way just to talk to people and just meet new people, et cetera. But I kid you not, I dropped the ball on this one because at the very end of the Bible study, when I had the opportunity to present to everybody, right, what I made and as they were reading it, I was shaking like a leaf. I was, I was so nervous, right? And you can tell from the sound. I sounded like all emotional and like I was cr like, it was just bizarre, right? And, and I told everybody, I'm like, I'm, a, I'm sorry. Like, I'm very nervous right now. I don't know what it is. So I sit back in my chair. Pastor goes up, you know, he has some really nice words to say about, you know, me stepping outside my comfort zone and, and sharing this with everybody. A lot of guys, you know, talked to me afterwards. They were giving me a lot of thanks and, you know, just thanks so much for the encouragement and those uplifting words. But here's the thing. Even though these guys were telling me all this, mentally, right, I still thought of myself as a failure because I'm like, dude, how can you not speak clearly? It's a three page, right, thing that you made. And plus on top of that, like I practice. And since I put too much of an importance on it, guess what? I did not meet the expectations that I had for myself. So how do we put this all back into terms of failures, right? Well, once again, everybody fails. You just heard about me failing and you might be thinking to yourself like, dude, that's not a failure. Well, guess what? I'm gonna be the guy that's gonna be the health and fitness coach that's saying, hey man, you had some alcohol, you had some donuts, you didn't track your calories, you didn't work out, that's not a failure either. So it's just like everybody sees things from a different perspective. You might be seeing things as, oh man, you're a lost cause. Like one bad day is gonna ruin your progress, you're never gonna reach your goals, and guess what? It's the same thing as if I took right my own self-doubt, my own self-criticism, because guess what? As guys, we're the own biggest worst enemies, right? We shoot ourselves in the foot all the time. And personally, for the past several days after, you know, giving this presentation to everybody, I felt like a failure. I felt like a big disappointment, right? It's just like we are our own biggest worst enemies. And that's the perspective shift is because we're putting too much of an importance on something. It's a pedestal. And I'm at fault with this all the time. Right, You put something on a pedestal and guess what happens when these unforeseen variables, like never in a million years would I expect, right, after somebody that talks all the time, to go up there and talk about something that I actually believe in, that I rehearse and practice, never would I have thought that I would be uncomfortable, that I would be nervous, that I would be timid, that I would be, you know, stuttering my words and messing things up. Never would have thought that. Now, here's the key thing that I really want you guys to pick up from today's episode, right? is the perspective on the story that you tell yourself. See, let's look at some of the past failures. And we'll talk about this most recent one too while we're at it. Past failures, right? Biggest one to me I always talk about is you know not being able to join the Marine Corps because I failed my ASVAB test three times in a row. Now, looking back at it, where I'm at right now as a business owner, uh, married to the most beautiful wife there is, have the most beautiful son there is, well, guess what? realistically, I probably would have never met my wife. I probably would have never had my son Oakley. I probably, I don't know. I mean, I can't predict the future, but I don't think I would be in this chair right now recording this episode if I would have took that route 
into the military if I would have passed my ASVAB test. So it's like uh, going back to one of my favorite quotes about Steve Jobs. Sometimes you can't connect the dots looking forward in life, but you can always connect the dots looking backwards in life. I can be very thankful that I actually failed those ASVAB tests because I'm blessed to be where I'm at right now in my life. So those failures got me to be where I'm at right now currently. And that's because that's a story that I tell myself. So after I gave this speech at men's Bible study, I was, I was crabby. I was in a mood. My wife was like, dude, you're depressed. What's going on? And it's because I put too much of an emphasis, right? My, my goal of, hey, you want to have this big, amazing speech, etc. Nothing goes as planned, etc. Right? Like you're upset. I kid you not, I'll be honest with you. I was kind of depressed a little bit. You know, I was way too emotionally, in, you know, involved on like, hey, I want it to be perfect and it's not. So I'm, I'm discouraged. I had to take a step back and really look at the bigger picture here. One of the things that we talk about a lot at Heartletics is, you know, your mindset. And specifically, uh, what is the story that you're telling yourself? It, that story could be either helping you or it could be hurting you. You know, in fact, one of my favorite Bible verses is Proverbs 18, 21, death and life are found in the power of the tongue. So I had to tell myself, hey, Joe, stop having a little pity party. It's okay. Nobody died, I promise, because you gave a speech and sure, you were nervous saying it. It's okay. Don't let one bad day turn into two or three bad days. Don't let, you know, you being emotionally tied to this outcome and it didn't happen and now guess what? You're depressed or cranky or whatever where your own family members are noticing a difference about you because that ain't fair to them. This is where things start to really click for me because I had to take a step back and say, you're right. Like it, it doesn't matter at all. And I think so much so is that us as guys, we think the worst outcomes all the time when in reality, like what we're doing to try to get to our goals and if let's say when we fail because you will i will everybody will right we have to stop saying to ourselves like oh man i failed all these people or i'm never going to be successful or you know whatever negativity that you want to tell yourself it's kind of like boxing you have to learn how to kind of just roll with the punches you know and just kind of go with the flow mike tyson has amazing quote and it's actually so true not just for boxing but life in general when it comes to reaching your goals. He said, everybody has a game plan until you get hit in the face. Well, think about it. You have a game plan that's gonna get you over here to your goals. And let's say during this progression, you get hit in the face. What are you gonna do about it? Are you gonna fight back? Or are you gonna give up, have a little pity party, go back to your old ways? And then guess what? Be even more regretful because you never actually took that step forward. You never actually got right back up brushed off the dust and said, hey, I'm not going to be defined by this failure. In the 1920s, a journalist once asked Thomas Edison, hey, brother, how does it feel to have failed over a thousand times before finally creating the light bulb? And he simply replied, hey, man, I, you got this twisted, brother. I didn't fail a thousand times. I just found a thousand ways on how not to create a light bulb. So let that be the biggest takeaway from today's episode for you. Flip the switch. Flip your perspective. Stop viewing those failures as this negative and realize there, hey, it needs to be there. So that way you can figure out once again, what is the lesson to be learned? With Thomas Edison, hey, with this way, he found out that didn't work. With this way, hey, he found out this didn't work either. And sure, there was over a thousand attempts, but he eventually got it because he didn't give up because he had faith. He realized here that he was going to reach his goal. He was going to create that light bulb. But once again, his mindset, his perspective, the words that he was saying, even to this journalist, right? He flipped the switch on it. He wasn't viewing them as a negative, as a, oh man, this is going to define this outcome. No, he viewed those failures as just like, hey, it's part of the process because it is. And you need to understand that. So what do you do if you failed or you fell off the wagon? Well, for starters, right, before we get to any action steps, mentally, Right? I'm a firm believer that like, once again, this thing upstairs, your mindset is the most powerful muscle on your body. You got to learn how to use it. You got to learn how to train it properly. So don't view those failures. Don't focus on them as a negative. Instead, shift your perspective. And I'll say it like this. Some of my biggest failures out there, 
is for me to use as a great testimony to help out somebody else as well. So for you, let's say you failed at something, let's say you fall off the wagon, whatever the case may be, if you're able to overcome that because you brush off the dust, you got right back to it, right? And you're able to get right back to it and then eventually have success at reaching your goals, guess what? Think about how greater of a story that's gonna be. Because now you can tell people instead of saying, oh yeah, I want to lose 50 pounds, so I just you know walked every day, did some strength training workouts, ate a bunch of protein, and I lost 50 pounds, right? Cool story, bro, right? But instead, you can say, you know what? I want to lose 50 pounds, I was doing so well, and then this is what happened, right? I kind of fell off the wagon. Maybe it was a day, maybe it was two days, maybe it was a week, whatever the case may be, but eventually, I had to muster up enough energy I had to muster up enough confidence to just be real with myself and say, look myself dead in the eyes and say, you know what? Enough's enough, right? We're not going to settle for this. We've failed so many times before in the past and we always just threw in the white towel and just quit and gave up. Today's the new day where we're going to get right back on track. Today's the new day where we're going to get right to it and we're not going to be defined by our failures. So from there, they continue to progress. They had a little stumbling block in the road, but they had a different perspective, continue to progress. Boom. They lost the 50 pounds. What sounds more inspiring to the person that's hearing that story? Especially if it's somebody that's also struggling with their health and fitness journey because let's say they fall into the trap of putting too much of importance, right, on those goals and they failed and now all of a sudden they're too emotionally involved into that failure, it's kind of like self-sabotage. So somebody by hearing, you know, your testimony that's also maybe on that same struggle bus Who knows? Maybe that can help them out way more than if you just said, oh, yeah, I just decided to, you know, eat healthy, get my steps in, do some workouts, and I lost 50 pounds. No, it's not the reality, okay? Use your testimony. Use your story. There is power in your voice telling you, power in your words that you say. You just need to be very crystal clear. What are the words that you're telling yourself and telling others as well? Because you know what they say. Every setback in life is just a setup for a greater comeback. So keep that in mind. Hopefully you guys got some inspiration from today's episode. If you did, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below letting me know your biggest takeaway. And as well, hey, if you know somebody that's struggling, go share this video with them. Because I'm a firm believer that once again, it doesn't matter the goals, whether it's health and fitness, whether it's starting a business, it doesn't matter, right? Everybody needs to realize this that if we're putting too much of an importance, right, on the goal itself, and then also getting emotionally involved, right, when it comes to those setbacks or those failures, it's self-sabotage, right? Once again, we need to learn how to just roll with the punches. We need to learn how to shift our perspective that, hey, these failures, guess what? They're little stepping stones to success. We need to realize that. And at the same time, just like what Mike Tyson said, Everybody has a game plan until they get punched in the face. So realize that, that the goal that you're trying to get to, you're going to get punched in the face a few times. That's A-OK. What happens when you get punched in the face? Are you just going to throw in the towel and quit? Or are you going to start using your words that have a lot of power to them? Remember, death and life are found in the power of the ton. Use those words to help yourself. Use those words to get through those dark times. And obviously, if there's some people in your corner that's holding you accountable, that's helping you, it makes it a lot easier as well. Having the right guys in your corner is so important, especially if you feel confident and comfortable with them because it makes it so much easier, especially if those failures, you're getting emotionally involved into it and you're just like letting it eat you away, feeling kind of depressed about it. Get that stuff off your chest. Get that crap out of you, you know? Think about it like this. You have a Coca-Cola bottle, right? What happens when you put a little Mentos and drop it in? It's going to explode. So the next time you're dealing with any kind of setbacks or failures, come back to this video, rewatch it, apply the things that I talked about, and I promise you it's going to help you out so much. As always, guys, this has been Coach Joe with the Heartletics Podcast, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace out, Girl Scouts.